The timeline for SpaceX's most ambitious rocket program is finally moving into its next chapter. For months, the aerospace community has been waiting on the company's next move after a string of dramatic test flights and crucial data gathering missions. Each attempt has carried its own risks, setbacks, and breakthroughs. But all of it has been building toward the moment when Starship takes another step closer to becoming the workhorse vehicle SpaceX promises it will be. Now, the long wait is over, and the focus shifts to what comes next. SpaceX has locked in the official launch date for Starship's 11th flight test. This flight represents a new stage in the program where design revisions and lessons from earlier launches will finally be put on the line together. The schedule is set, expectations are high, and every move leading up to liftoff will be closely analyzed across the industry. If you want more updates like this as they unfold, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming. It's finally happening. After weeks of speculation and endless discussions across space forums, the official timeline for Starship's next flight has entered the spotlight. The announcement comes on the heels of key ground tests that showed the vehicle's readiness to move forward, and the timing couldn't be more important. With the spaceflight calendar already crowded by major NASA milestones and international missions, all eyes are locked on how SpaceX positions this launch in the bigger picture of 2025's most anticipated events. The confirmation of Flight 11's schedule immediately sparked comparisons to other upcoming missions. NASA is preparing for Artemis II, a crewed journey around the moon that could redefine the current era of exploration, while at the same time introducing a new class of astronauts who will eventually push farther into space than ever before. Against that backdrop, SpaceX's Starship is shaping its own narrative, one that is directly tied to proving its capability for deep space transport and long-term reusability. The coincidence of these timelines is not accidental. It signals how the commercial and government sides of spaceflight are accelerating in parallel. Back at Starbase, the focus is entirely on readiness. Engineers have been working through final rounds of system checkouts, ensuring both the ship and the booster align with the standards required for a high-profile test. The next move involves carefully scheduled transport operations, facility preparations, and multiple layers of review. Each step is being tracked not only by regulatory agencies, but also by a growing number of watchers, eager to see how SpaceX manages the final buildup to launch. That buildup has now reached the point where timing is no longer a matter of speculation, but of confirmed scheduling. SpaceX has officially revealed the launch window for Starship Flight 11, marking the transition from preparation to execution. According to formal notices issued to mariners and aviators, the company is targeting a primary launch date of October 6th, with backup opportunities stretching through October 12th. The daily launch period runs from 2315 UTC until 122 UTC the following day. For U.S. Central Standard Time, this translates to a start time of 615 p.m., a window that conveniently allows clear visibility for both the liftoff sequence and the crucial landing phases that follow. This official confirmation comes directly after the most recent static fire and integrated systems trial of Ship 38, which is assigned to fly with Booster 15 for this mission. During that test, all six Raptor engines on the ship ignited and performed through their full burn sequence without reporting anomalies. Each engine's chamber pressure, thrust curve, and ignition profile remained within expected margins. Post-test inspections revealed no measurable degradation to the engine bells or turbo machinery, a strong indicator of system health heading into flight. This outcome gave both regulators and SpaceX enough assurance to finalize the launch schedule. With that milestone behind them, the program moved from speculation to concrete preparation. At this stage, the central question shifted away from, when will Flight 11 happen? Two, how quickly can SpaceX position its hardware for liftoff? The company has officially set October 6th as the primary launch target. Backup slots extend through October 12th, giving the program seven total opportunities to fly.
These contingency days account for weather interruptions, minor technical adjustments, or any regulatory delays. Structuring the window in this way prevents a single-day scrub from disrupting momentum and ensures that months of preparation are not wasted if an unforeseen factor arises. Still, the timing means that SpaceX will not surpass its fastest turnaround record of 37 days between Flight 5 and Flight 6. That benchmark remains unchallenged for now. However, breaking records is not the immediate goal. The emphasis is firmly on stability, repeatability, and learning. Reliability has become the defining priority of the Starship program at this stage, and the flight cadence reflects that principle. In the days leading up to this launch window, a tightly coordinated series of steps must be completed. The first involves relocating Ship 38 from its current test stand back into Mega Bay 2. Road closures in Cameron County have already been filed to facilitate the move, scheduled in early morning hours to reduce local disruption. The transport operation will be accompanied by a support convoy to manage traffic and ensure safe clearance for the oversized vehicle. Once inside Mega Bay 2, Ship 38 will undergo a full reliability review. Every major subsystem, from avionics to structural weld points, will be subjected to secondary checks. The engines, despite clearing their static fire, will be inspected in greater detail for microscopic cracking or vibration fatigue. One sea level Raptor is of particular interest, since it must perform an in-space relight. The outcome of that maneuver will determine whether Ship 38 can control its re-entry trajectory and execute its planned landing attempt. Equally critical is the heat shield. This vehicle carries the newest version of SpaceX's Crunchwrap tile pattern designed to distribute thermal loads more evenly across its surface. Engineers will examine every tile bond for lifting, chipping, or misalignment. Even minor flaws can compromise the shield during re-entry when the vehicle faces plasma heating above 1,400 degrees Celsius. To validate performance, vibration testing will simulate ascent forces, while acoustic checks will replicate launch noise. The shield must pass these trials without tile loss before the ship can proceed. Parallel to these inspections, auxiliary systems, including the payload bay door, fuel tank pressurization hardware, composite overwrapped pressure vessels, and aerodynamic flaps, will all be scrutinized for integration issues. Each system has a direct impact on mission success, leaving no margin for oversight. While Ship 38 is under review, Booster 15 is already positioned further ahead in the preparation timeline. It has completed its hot staging ring installation, a feature first introduced on Flight 9 to improve stage separation efficiency. Early indications suggest Booster 15 is also fitted with its flight termination system, bringing it closer to launch readiness. Pending only final clearances, its rollout to the pad could proceed with minimal delay. On the ground, SpaceX teams will use the ship's relocation as an opportunity to reset the orbital launch mount. Temporary scaffolding and support structures around the pad will be dismantled, allowing direct access for reinforcement work. This includes cladding installations, structural tightening, and hydraulic system checks. Such tasks are essential to ensure the ground segment can withstand the immense stresses of launch. According to SpaceX's internal scheduling, about one week of pad work will be enough to bring the site back online. This keeps operations aligned with the October 6th target, though the built-in flexibility to October 12th provides breathing room in case any task runs over schedule. Importantly, this timing coincides with a period of high visibility for the aerospace community. Flight 11 will be tracked not only by regulators and partners, but also by competitors, analysts, and the public. As such, the mission carries a symbolic weight as much as a technical one. It signals SpaceX's ability to maintain momentum in the world's most ambitious launch program. With the launch window confirmed, Flight 11 is now set to validate the upgrades introduced after earlier tests, focusing on liftoff performance, hot staging reliability, orbital insertion, re-entry, and controlled landing to prove Starship's repeatability. In the final days before October 6th, SpaceX teams will run rehearsals, verification procedures, readiness reviews, and range coordination.
concentrating every effort on demonstrating the vehicle's progress toward operational consistency, 